Hi there! Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. I think most people know that raspberry berries are edible and delicious. But did you know that raspberry leaves can also be used to make a very healthy tea that... Oh no! This plant's trying to kill me! Get it off me! Get it off me! Ah! Hang on, man. I don't think that plant's trying to kill you. That plant is Cleaver's scientific name, Gallium Aparine. It has a whole bunch of other names too, like goosegrass, bedstraw, tangleweed, sticky willy, barweed, grubgrass, scratweed, robin, run in the grass. And it is an annual plant, probably introduced from Europe, but possibly native to North America. It has weak stems that fall over if it doesn't have something to hang on to. And it grows about 20 to 100 centimeters tall. It can be found in the woods, moist fields, clearings, waste sites, along shores and hedges, and throughout North America. Huh? Not trying to kill me, you say? Well, how do I even know what plant this really is? Cleavers has a square stem with hooked hairs on the angles of the stem. The leaves come off the stem in a whorl or like a circle coming from one central place. They're about half an inch to three inches long and they also have the sticky hairs. If you can see them sticking to me as I touch it. Half an inch to three inches long and they're largest above the middle of it. If you can see like the lower half of the leaf is smaller than the upper half. And they're straight and round at the end with a pointed tip. And the, the flowers, and this has already gone to seed, but the flowers would emerge from the axle where the leaf meets the stem, and they'd come out, and the flowers would be white to greenish, and they're really small. And cleavers has this tiny, or this really weak stem, so it doesn't stand on its own. Uh, it's standing here because I've got it propped up on this board, but... Normally, if there wasn't anything for it to cling on to, like other plants or whatever, it would just fall and trail along the ground, and they often form mats with a bunch of them together. <laughs> hey, look at these. <laughs> yeah. The seeds grow in pairs, and they're covered in hooked hairs. Cleavers and gallium species are related to coffee, so those seeds can be collected, dried, and roasted, and used as a coffee substitute. A caffeine-free coffee substitute, but a coffee substitute nonetheless. And they can also be eaten raw. The young plants can be eaten raw, but they can be kind of scratchy on the throat, so it might be better cooked. And so they can be cooked kind of like spinach, and they actually taste a little like spinach as well. So maybe cleavers isn't so bad. Is there anything else I should know about this plant? <laughs> cleavers has some medicinal uses. It's rich in vitamin C, so it's been used as a treatment for scurvy. It has diuretic properties and has been used as a treatment for kidney stones and bladder problems. It's also been used for external skin problems like eczema by applying freshly crushed leaves or tea to the skin. It's also said to help with skin conditions such as eczema by helping clean out the lymphatic system by taking a tea or tincture made from it. And the leaves have been used for other external skin problems like minor burns and skin irritations by crushing the leaves and applying them. And it's also been used for nosebleeds. It's also said to be helpful and useful with weight loss. Some other uses for cleavers include taking the stems and using them, putting them together and using them like a sieve, and uh, using the plants themselves and rubbing them on your hands to remove pitch from them. Pitch, like from trees. Uh, so, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching.